Stan. Stan Lee. What? Are you finished yet? Don't be silly, Sally. If I were finished, I wouldn't still be riding. What would you be doing? I'd be holding you in my arms, praising your beauty, your body, and your ravioli. Did you miss me today? Yes, I missed you today. How much? How much what? How much did you miss me? I missed you lots. Oh, is that all? Please, Sally, I'm writing. I can't believe you just missed me lots. Okay, I missed you more than lots. How much more? I missed you hunks, lumps, tons, and masses. I missed you worlds and galaxies and constellations. Is that enough? Mm, that'll do for now. Good. I missed you too. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you even going to ask how much I missed you? I'm afraid to ask. I missed you solar systems. Great. Between us, we've missed each other an entire universe. Mm. You know what? You haven't called me in a long time. I haven't called you a lot of things in a long time. Please, Sally, I've got to get this finished. Just ha. thought you'd like to know. All right. You haven't called me. Your sugar yum yum. OK, you're my sugar yum yums. It's supposed to be spontaneous. Okay, you're my spontaneous sugar yum-yums. Be serious, Stan. How can I believe you mean it if you're not serious? Sally, I am a 22-year-old college graduate. How can I call anyone sugar yum-yums seriously? You act like it's a major endeavor to call me your sugar yum-yums. It's not a major endeavor. It's just silly. Silly? Are you saying that I am silly? No. I'm saying that you are my sugar yum-yums. <laughs> All right, Grelling, you show me in the Bible where it says I've got to pay my rent by the 10th of the month, and I'll pay it. Until then, bug off. Bob's home. Stanley. Yeah, Bob. Stanley, I'm standing here in total darkness. Aren't his powers of observation amazing? If this is your way of telling me you forgot to pay the light bill, I'd better warn you that in my current state of mind, I'm likely to put ugly lumps and bruises all over your frontal lobes. Is that above the belt? You're getting warm. Why don't you try the light switch? Ah. <laughs> because I'm afraid it won't work, Stan. And if it won't work, I'll be forced to spend the whole weekend picking bits of your teeth out of the furniture. Hey, I don't know what you're so upset about. Man lived without electricity for centuries. You'll only have to live without it for about three minutes. I'm going to try the light switch, Stan. If you got any prayers, you better say them. Dear Father in heaven, please let there be light. Very funny, Stan. Oh, why didn't you tell me that Little Orphan Annie was here? My name is not Little Orphan Annie. Oh, forgive me. Why didn't you tell me that Sugar Yum Yums was here? Or is it Hussy Wussy Lussy Dumsy Bumsy? All right, open up in there. This is growing. I gave it the office. Are you going to let him talk to me that way? Bob, don't talk to her that way. Does it say anything in the Bible about paying rent? Might be construed as a subclause. Hey, do you want me to call the cops? I don't care if you call the Secretary of Health, Education, and Welfare. You'd better get her out of here. We're in enough trouble. Uh, Sally, go wait in the closet. You're not going to want to hear this anyway. A creative person should not live in such an atmosphere. Will you get out of here? Are you going to let him talk to me that way? Bob, don't talk to her that way. OK, I am calling the cops. Ha! Ha! There's no need to call the cops, Grelling. This is a civil matter. You tell that to God. This is a civil matter, sir. Thou shalt not steal. <laughs> Love thy neighbor. Up yours. That must have been a misprint. It should have said, up thine. Look, I have wasted enough time with you bums already. Now, the Bible says, thou shalt not steal. Now, you guys are 15 days late with the rent. That's money out of my pocket, and that means you are stealing. Oh, it's all right down here in black and white and red. Well, that leaves you with two options. You can either pay up by tomorrow, or you can learn to sleep in the streets. Uh, can't we have another week, Mr. Grelling? Oh, is it another week that you want? Is that all? I thought that's what you said uh, last week. And the week before? And the week before that? Look, I ain't running no charity mission for you educated know-nothings. I have had it up to here with you college-type creeps. 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 Oh, you just go to school on your mommy's money. You think that life is just one big piece of pie. Yeah, you need a new suit? You just call mommy. You just need a new car? You just call mommy. Mommy is always there. 
So now you has graduated, and you're supposed to be a big boy. The only thing is, Mama ain't there no more. Now, you can't get a job because you didn't learn anything useful. But so now you come crying to me. Another week, Mr. Growling. Another month, Mr. Growling. Another year, Mr. Growling. You have never worked a day in your life, and you have got the gall to ask a man who has worked from dawn's early light to sunset for the last 30 years for another week? Oh, you're barking up the wrong tree. No, either you pay up by tomorrow, or it is out in the streets. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as gentle rain from heaven. Yeah. William Shakespeare. Yeah. Well, may your tush never fall on the rocky road of life. Ain't he grilling? There goes a man with a golden heart. I am a man, Grilling, a man. Do you hear me? A man. And if you think for one minute that I'll come crawling to you, begging for a little more time, you're crazy. I've got my pride, you know. And if you think you or anybody else is going to take that away from me, well. Now look, I'm going to say this once and one time only, so you'd better listen. Bob Jefferson crawls for no man. Hello, Mama. It's me, Bob. What a man. You told me you were single and ordered me a double, and that's why I'm in trouble once again. There you are, my dear. And there you are, my dear. Marvelous. Hey, what's that I smell? Oh, I decided that I behaved very badly yesterday when you sold your song. So I've decided to prepare you a special little dinner. Hey, that wasn't necessary. I know. What are we having? My specialty, veal parmigiano. <laughs> Come sit right down there. Now sit right down there. Bob. Yeah. Those are TV dinners. Huh. I know. It's the only way I know how to make veal parmigiano. Sarge! Here, Sarge! 